it's all about that. A lot of, a lot of people with no money are, are, are really, really arrogant. I know a lot of broke people who are very arrogant. <laughs> it's dumb because they're arrogant. And their arrogance is a shield for their laziness. People will, people will shield laziness with anything. No one wants to admit they're lazy. So they'll shield it with disbelief. Ah, that's a scam. Or I don't work hard. I work smart. Bollocks. More, more cover. Do you believe in that work smart or not harder? I believe in both. Yeah. But there's a time when it comes to work smart. And most people are trying to do the smart work before they do the hard work. It's kind of like talent. Right. You don't notice if you're talented at something until all the hard work's done. Yep. I could be the most talented tennis player in the world, but I don't play tennis. So if I go down the tennis court, Joe Schmo is going to smoke me. I don't get to see my talent until I've worked so hard that I'm in the top one percent. And now I'm beating them because I have some God given gift. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do the hard work first. If there's no hard work, there's no smart work. So someone's going to sit there and go, I work smart. I don't work hard. So I only have to work an hour a day. If working smart gets you a lot done in an hour a day, then you should work smart for 12 hours a day and yeah. get 12 times the work done. I, I am absolutely and utterly a believer in hard work. I'm a proponent of hard work. I have all this money and all I do is work. My entire life is work. This podcast is work. I'm getting the car. I'm going to another meeting. Work. I'm going to fuck a bitch. That's work. She's going to be on my arm at the fucking can on the, at the film festival. That's more credibility. I consider it work to fuck her. That's work. <laughs> I'm going to go to the gym so I'm in good shape. Work. It's all work. My entire life is work. And people don't want to look at life that way. They want to talk about work-life balance and being lazy and all this crap. I don't believe in any of that. I believe in if you want to win, you have to outcompete the man who's prepared to do nothing but work. It's player versus player. If you're going to sit there and go, I don't want to work more than an hour a day, well, the guy who does want to work more than an hour a day is going to beat you. And no matter how smart you are, there's always a smart dude who's doing the same smart work you are for more hours than you're doing it. That's just the nature of the game. Mm. And this is why we talk about things like passive income. Passive income is a fucking scam. I'm tired of people. I'm tired of people coming to me saying I want to make passive income. And I sit there and say, what methods of passive income would you say is a scam? It's not about it's not about it being a scam. It's about the mentality towards it is a scam. I'm look. Everyone loves passive money, right? I make money as I sleep. Yep. I get it. You, you need to delink your time to your money because if you're only working for money, you run out of time, you can't make enough money. I understand all those principles. My point is, if you have no money and you're coming to me saying, I want to make passive income, why are you not making active income? Get up off your ass and work first. Because there's no such thing as completely, truly 100% passive. You're going to have to check on it. You're going to have to maintain it. You're going to have to find a new tenant for that property. You're going to have to make sure that DeFi crypto farm you're in doesn't go to zero. It's not a rug pull. Yeah. You're always going to have to keep an eye on it, right? But the idea that people with no money are already so concerned with making money without work is amazing to me. You should be worried about active income. If you show me, if I'm a brokey and you show me how to make $1,000 an hour, I don't sit there and go, okay, but how can I make that passive? I go, cool, I'm making $18,000 a day because I'm going to work. Dude, you don't need to worry about passive income until you have no more time. I look at passive income because I have 18 hours a day I work. When all 18 of those hours are done and my workload still isn't finished, I have to find a way to make some of those income streams passive, either via staff or whatever else. Yep. And that's how I work smart. I use all of my time. And when all my time is done, you now I have to become more efficient yep. so that I can get more done within the same time frame. To sit there and say, I don't want to use my time, so I want passive income is dumb at, is dumb shit. The 16 year old making 45 grand a month. If he was to sit to me and go, I don't want to make the TikToks. I want someone else to do it, make it passive that he wouldn't be making any money. He's just working. You have to just work. So when someone comes to me talking about passive income and they're a brokey, I'm like, you are just lazy. You are lazy. You will never get anywhere. Lazy people never get anywhere in life. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter if it's tennis or money. If you're lazy, you're never going to get there. And another thing about people is they're quitters. I can't stand quitters. I do not need you. It's not a business where we need you. You need us, right? So if you're going to kind of person who's going to quit because it's hard, then fuck off. I don't even want your energy around me because quitters are the worst people on the planet. You can give a quitter absolutely everything and they will still fail. Mm. You can give a, it doesn't matter what it is. If you go to Ikea and buy a flat pack fucking table and put it in front of a quitter, you will never have a table. He'll look at it and it's long and he'll quit. Quitters can have every single advantage. Quitters can have all the information. Quitters can have all the tutelage. Quitters can have a, a mentorship. Quitters can have someone who messages them every morning. Hey, bro, let's get it. And guess what they're going to do at the end? Quit. Quit. <laughs> they ain't never going to have shit. So if you're a quitter, I don't even want you in, even inside my organization. I don't want quitters anywhere near me because you're never going to be successful. Idiots. Peons. They will stay brokies and wages forever. Leave them there. Right? You need the people who don't quit. I don't quit. 
every single facet of my life is testament to the fact that I don't quit. When people see my plane in the sky, you can, you can say whatever you want about me. You can call me arrogant. You can call me anything you want, but you cannot call me a quitter. I didn't quit. So that's the difference. When it was hard, I did it anyway. That's who I've always been. And if you don't have that kind of tenacity, you're never going to be anything. So the people who come along and talk about passive income, they sound like quitters to me. They sound like people who don't want to work. I love work. I'm ready to work. I'll dig a hole. You, bro, you offer me a billion dollars right now and give me a shovel, I'll dig a hole. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> give me the shovel. Give me the money. I will dig a hole. I'm not afraid of work.